time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live. Let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Happy Friday, January 26th. Welcome to today's Power Hour live stream. Getting a little push up in SPX as we speak. S&P is basically unchanged on the day from yesterday's close. NASDAQ is down 66, Russell up 5, Dow up 70, gold and silver a little bit red, notes and bonds a little bit red, oil up 1%, natty gas up 3, grains lower, euro in the pound a little bit green, Bitcoin up almost 6%. VIX was holding up pretty good all day, but started contracting here recently, uh, down a little over 1.5% to 13.23. So I've had a pretty good day so far. I had uh, my AM iron condor hit, well, I had my overnight iron condor hit about 12%. My AM ratio hit 50%. My DKS hit 11, uh, 40%, about 1100. Uh, I did do a quiet lunch that got stopped out after a little bit of trail. And then my one DTE just hit 45%. And then I've had some NTT trades. One was good for 50, about 1,600, almost 1,600. One, uh, I I wasn't at my computer to ratchet down my stop. And, and on top of that, I got some big slippage. So I hit 20%, but still took an 80, $845 loss on that one. Also had another one for about a $1,700 winner. And I am in one right now. Let's yeah, see, gonna... for me, I'm in one power hour. Sorry, Chad, go ahead. Yeah, so I just posted my power hour. By the way, for Number power one. hour for me, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do half size today. I just don't. I just don't like feel like putting out the risk of my full size position. So I'm just going half position size. Second here, I got to put in my OCO order. So usually with the uh, straddle for tranche one right now, I I would do full size. I'm just I'm I'm kind of re I'm in the process of redoing my position sizing and and strategy allocation for February, and so I'm just kind of scaling back my I'm going to be scaling back my power hour size anyway, and so I'm going to just go ahead and start with that today. So just doing half size. All right. So, so today, I've had two two um, AM ICs and two lunch times. 
Um, looks like one got stopped out maybe here. Yep, one got stopped out just a little bit ago here on this push-up. So two nice winners and two kind of scratch trades out of those four. And then just put on my power hour, number one. So, um, And then the question in the live stream of, of wanting like me to send you all of my January fills, you know, first off, like I, I stopped keeping track of all my fills this week um, because it's just too much for me to, to take on. I, I share the spreadsheet because that's what I, that's what I used when I was doing all my paper trading. And so I would rather you learn how to do all the process that I'm doing, when to enter, when not to enter, those types of things, than trying to compare like my fills with your fills. Um, and when it starts to negatively affect my trading because of the tasks I'm doing, then I stop doing things. And so one thing that I was I stopped doing earlier this week was posting a screenshot of my fills or of my of my order, like the entire order. I just I would put the calls and puts, the short strikes, and then the fill. And then people wanted me to do the whole screenshot. It was quicker for me just to do type the fills and the short strikes. But I went back to snipping my fills because I know that's what people like. To, but at some point, you know, I've I got to be able to make sure I'm managing my own trading. And when I'm having to put every little detail of every little trade in, it, it makes it difficult for me to to focus on my trading and make sure that I'm, you know, being efficient with it. I don't know. What are your thoughts, Steve, on like posting every fill? That I have or yeah I, I've got some thoughts uh real quick though so my power hour tranche one just got filled on the 4890 straddle filled at 760. yeah so I I I agree like I think what I what I see happening is obviously there's a lot of you know a lot of folks are still that are new trying to learn and trying to understand your strategy so I get that and so, you know, seeing a seeing your fills, you know, here and there, I understand that when when they're trying to learn the process can be somewhat helpful. But um, yeah, I see I see way too many people trying to just overanalyze other people's yeah. trades. Like I get requests right. all the time for, you know, I show my I show every I show all my trades you know, with trader sync and in the weekly videos, but yet still get requests of like, can you send me a spreadsheet of all your trades? And, and people want to like analyze them. And, and I, right. I just, I can't think of a bigger waste of time, honestly. Like I would never, right. especially, especially on a somewhat discretionary strategy, like, like you're doing, it's just, it, it's a huge waste of time guys. And I think as, as traders, what we do is, you know, we, we we do things to make ourselves think that we're getting better but if you're doing things that waste your time that aren't actually making you better with that strategy or as a trader in general it's just to me it's just a huge waste of time uh, and i think your time should be spent elsewhere and i know some of you will disagree with me because you have specific things in your mind of what it what you think it's helping you do but the reality is it it's just there's a lot better things you could be doing to kind of help yourself rather than analyzing somebody else's trades. It just, I don't know, makes no sense. To yeah. Me. Well, like the fills from like the first week of January, like how's that going to help you? Like, I, I just don't understand that. But, and, and, you know, like I said, I, I got to take some things off my plate. And one thing I've taken off my plate is uh, logging every one of my fills in that spreadsheet. You know, and it really helped me when I was learning. So that's why I shared it with you guys. Yeah. Now, now sharing what you're doing and asking for comparison, I get that just to make sure that you're on the right track. If you're still in that, in that phase, totally get that. But there's, there's, you know, I don't know, to me, there's just way too yeah, much. And, that, and that's why I kept others. posting the screenshots. That's why I kept posting the screenshots of my, of my uh, trades, because I was like, okay, that I know is, is helpful.
And at one time I thought we were going to flush here and then kind of price ended up pushing back up. Need some good theta decay here. You know, it's kind of like a lot of the uh, trade alerts that I put out. I still see people, no matter how much I've beat that dead horse, that don't chase my fills. People people try to like yeah. manage, you know, enter their trades based on my fills. My fills mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> they mean zero. Yeah. Like if you, if, if, you know, the, those people who kind of try to, mimic my fills or chase my fills. If they knew how little value I put on my fill price when I was trying to get in, they, they wouldn't do that. But, yeah. and so it's just, you know, what, what Chad gets filled at it to me is just so irrelevant. It's more about, yeah. I mean, around this, the time that consolidation starts and, you know, a general idea of understanding what he's thinking, what he's looking at important, his fills completely irrelevant. No, we, we need to talk about this Dark Avenger. Thank you. Because this is a topic that keeps coming up. Yeah, it's I even said I'd address it at Power Hour live stream. So I'm doing everything and anything I can to help you guys understand what I'm doing. And yeah, I know that the course is February 8th. So um, just appreciate your patience on we, we do have other things going on outside of trading. I'm a single parent with two teenage boys. So. I don't have any trades going right now other than my one power hour trade. Still sitting pretty good. I'll let you know if I need your moderation help, Dark Avenger. So my uh, my last NTT that I put on is currently trading about seven bucks. Twenty percent would be four fifteen. So I need a little little down move. My tranche one currently underwater about eight percent. I do have a bunch of calendars to put on today. First one will be five, seven, and six, seven. I would really love to see price just sit tight for the rest of today. I don't know that it will, though. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been in much. I mean, we've had a range of up to 06 down to 82. So pretty, I mean, we haven't it's even been, tested. Yeah, it's been pretty tight. Move. Yeah, it's been pretty tight. It's just had a, a little that one big, yeah, it's that 20 minute push down and then. It kind of broke out of the consolidation to the upside here.
So my five, seven and six, seven will go on at two fifteen. So here in about 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to still continue to trade power hour next month the way I do, but I think I'm just going to I'm going to reduce the size to make more room for more capacity on my NTT stuff. I just got filled on half of my power hour trade. Yeah, I don't think power hours Our traditional power hour way is dead. And I'll still I'll still trade a little bit a little bit bigger size on up days or down days. But it's the normal days that I'm really gonna reduce. All right, so I got filled at six bucks in my original. So my next 40% target. And I noticed somebody put these targets in the TLC management channel. That's that's pretty cool. But the next power hour target for $6 is uh, 360. Would be 40%. So 360, and then that's also the trailing stop. So my risk graph here is a conglomerate of my power hour plus my remaining re-entry. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, no, Eli, no TLC channel. Um, I think I think it was Meech created a thread. Yeah, it says TLC management. That's what I see anyway. I just noticed it the other day. Yeah. So, uh, Eli, if you go to the top, when you're in this channel, live chat, go to the top and there's a little spool right next to the bell. If you hover over that spool or click it, there's that's where you'll see threads attached to a channel. I guess I could show you here. So, and yeah, in and, live and, chat, and... go up to this, click on the threads, and that's it right there. And that live chat cheat sheet takes you to that Meech the Meech posted takes you to that sp the spreadsheet I use. I mean, so that's like you want to see fills, like that's where fills you would put in at 20, 40, 60, 80 percent and, and the trailing stops. Yeah, those threads they uh they go way too quickly. And that's not something that I can control. Um, I can edit it. So like the most, so I can set it to one week. So if somebody posts in there, it'll, uh, it'll stay for a week as a little kind of sub thread under the live chat on the left. Otherwise it just kind of disappears. You can always access it with that thread button up top, but it just kind of hides it. Nice, Morrow. Yeah, those one DTEs have been awesome. Uh, 
Chad mentioned that this morning. I don't, I don't know anything about it. What was it, Chad? The pothole app? Oh, uh, my Casey Mo. I think it is. Let me see. Yeah, my Casey Mo. Yeah, not enough movement for me to enter a power hour two so far. Tranche number two coming in here in a few minutes for me. Looks like I just hit Oh, that was my last remaining contract from an earlier NTT. I forgot I had one contract left. That was a 9580. My uh, last NTT I put on, trading at 550, 20% is at 415. So still need another buck, a little buck plus to come out of that one. All right, so I'm going to be entering my 5.7 and 6.7 here shortly. I do my 5.7 at 20 delta, my 6.7 at 25. Well, that's odd. In uh, here comes trunch number two, filled at six thirty on the ninety five straddle. Yeah, uh, Mauro, are you talking about the um, the way I did it for the auto trading, where it has TAT and Trade Steward? I think that may be what you're referring to. Yeah, I like that better. I've I've uh, I've thought about doing that for a couple other channels here. I'd like to get another one in, but just may not get a second one in. Hey, Steve, I got a question for you. Yep. It's just a task thing with think or swim. When, when you overlap strikes, like, is there something, <clears throat> something that you press to not close another position out? Does that make sense? Well, yeah. I mean, you can't do a, you can't overlap with a short and a long like you can overlap with short and short or long and long because it just, you know, combines them, but you can't, you can't overlap a short with a long, okay. otherwise it just closes it. 
Yeah, that's my thought. Okay. Well, my, but I can, because one thing I was looking at is like I haven't been overlapping, but sometimes it's like maybe I should reconsider that during power hour because it could be a profitable time, especially yeah, when I, it's just, I overlap you know. shorts all the time. Shorts on shorts. Okay. You know, the, when you look at it in the analyze tab, you know, it's going to, you know, be all, it's going to be a little goofy like the one you're looking at here. You know, right. because, because I have this, I'm using, I'm sharing the same strike on my NTT and my power hour. And so you can see it's kind of skewed looking. Uh huh. So there's no way to separate them to, to, to view your risk graph separately, which I know you, you do. Right. So if, so if you want to keep it clean that way, you'd want to avoid strike overlap. So on the seventh, huh, these strikes get 10 wide, just right out of the money. Oh, that's the, never mind. That's in the money anyway. Five, seven. Come on, Mr. Five, seven. Give me a fill. There we go. I just posted my five seven. SPX still sleeping, so that's good. Yeah, I can sleep the rest of the day. And my six, seven. Trying to get filled on my six, seven. I don't like I, so my screenshots when I post in Discord, it's like scrunching them up. You got to click on them to expand to see the price now. I don't know why it's doing that, but maybe that's just what they've done. All right, so I got my five seven and my six seven. Next up is my um, uh, 
I'm not going to do a three, six. I'll do the, I'm going to do the four or five double diagonal here in about 20 minutes. We'll move lower. Still waiting on 20% on my uh, final NTT. Currently trading at 480. I need 415. It's the 80, 90. Power hours. Power is sitting almost dead center. A little bit more move lower. Tranche one's up 14%, tranche two down slightly. There it is, 20%. By the way, today I did uh, go back to one to one ratio because I wanted to, with three to two, they're just too big for what I want to trade while I'm testing. So I went back to one to one so I could scale out more today. If I decide to put my big boy pants on, I may go back to ratios, but I wanted to, I wanted to feel the one-to-one -one scaling a little bit. Yeah, that, yeah, Cody, that was on my NTT. Yeah, good point. I Krish, I am also I'm also doing a fix today. Again, I'm just I'm still in test mode, so don't don't take what I'm doing as anything. I'm just kind of you know, part of it for me is I just I want to feel I want to feel it. I like to feel it, you know? I'm a feel guy. Sometimes things look good on paper, but I just don't like it. I just don't like trading that way. No, what I've been doing is uh, I'm not, I haven't been skewing at all. I have been um, like earlier in the day, I'm, I'm targeting $4 in premium. And then later in the day, I'm targeting three on each side. There is tranche three coming in on the 90 puts, 95 calls, two to one, fill at 670.
Nice, Wooga. Feels good to be green. I actually, uh, yeah, I got out of my drawdown, I think on Tuesday. And then I dipped back down a little bit. So I hit, I hit a new all-time high. Now I'm in a new drawdown. But I'm not in the big January one anymore. So that's good. So my five, seven. That's it. Just kind of sit right there, Price. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be taking another power hour. So five trades on the day for me, which five or six has been the norm. At a twelve ninety winner and a one hundred and sixty dollar pretty much scratch trade for my first two, twenty one fifteen lunchtime minus a hundred, lunchtime two, and then we finish green with the one power hour. For diagonals. I haven't traded any diagonals in 2024. Double calendars? Or are you talking about the four or five double diagonal? Uh, I haven't, I haven't looked. Um, I will say, you know, I do a lot of my um, trades in my Trader account, and that one's down a few thousand. But I also do some in my toss, so I haven't, I haven't tallied them all up. I'll do that t t uh, towards the end of the month for February, or for my January monthly report. I would say I'm a little bit red. Actually, after today's TGIF, yeah, definitely red. Hold on there. Don't go too far down. So my tranche one's up 22%. I got filled at 760 Four fifty five. So I'll reduce stop one or uh, tranche one at four fifty five. Tranche two I got in at six thirty. So three eighty. Mm. Didn't want to see that drop here. Nice fish. Down to nineties. Oh, I'm sure that's what it is, Marl. So the four five. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, that contango is going to do that to it. I still like it, though. 
I get a little more pump in the uh, long options going in. Closed another piece of my NTT. 40%. Needs a little bounce here. Vic's getting a little pop. Got this little move down. That is forty eight twenty five. You showing about a 225 debit tomorrow? Yeah, 230, yeah. So I've got one contract left on my NTT, and then I got my three power hour tranches. Tranche one's up 27%. Tranche two is a little bit red. Tranche three, a little bit red. Nighty night, Krish. Two AM, wow. Have a good weekend, Chris.
Yeah, let's just hover around 90 here. Take it home with the 90s. I need another another ten percent on my uh, tranche one to reduce my stop. Yeah, it's not looking promising to hold. Are you saying that was FOMC week or you're not sure? You're just saying it was a debit. Yeah. Yeah, I went through, I remember going through the trade log, looking at those to see if there's anything with the, uh, any issues entering for a debit versus a credit. And I didn't, I didn't find anything that I thought jumped out at me. Oh, wow, 635 debit? Yeah, that's big. Okay, SPX just kind of grinding lower here. Just a little bit of a bounce. Stay up there. What strikes are you on, Chad? I'm on the 4895-4890. So that's why I was saying like 4892-ish, mm -hmm. if it would just stay in there. I filled 20%. But it don't look like it's going to hold here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and enter my four five.
I got stopped out of tranche two on that little move lower. Up to out of tranche two, tranche one's up 26%. Tranche three is down about 23%. Got a partial fill on my double diagonal. I filled at two thirty. Somehow I meant to do ten contracts and did eleven. All right, just posted my four five. Not over, Elliot. Uh, Dark Avenger MES. Yeah, it's not it's not ready to roll again yet. Neither of them. Getting close. I got filled on forty percent. Hour hour one. Yeah, I'll be doing a three five. That is next step.
And I hit 60% with my last contract on NTT. I do think I like doing more than um, 30% off at the first 20% profit target, though. I've been doing the 50% the today. I think I do like that better, Chad. Say that Say that again. Which I one? was doing I was doing ratios, and I was just doing it because they're a little bit bigger. I was just doing thirds. So I'd, uh, at 20%, I would take a third off. Okay. Today, I was doing 50%, so I like that a little bit better like you do. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, 50% of your contracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So here's my final NTT. 1585 on the first one, minus 845 on the second due to mismanagement and bad slippage combo. Should have been a should have been a small winner. Uh 1450 on the third and 1050 on the last one. Yeah, the NTT reentry trades. MRP, have you seen the in the course channel? I posted that video about it. All right, just got filled in my three five. I was considering a three six and a three seven as well. The tranche one's getting close to stop reduction time. Yeah, sorry, I haven't been uh, mentioning. 705 million buy side has been the early indications. Final number? 230 million to buy. 230 million buy side. Pretty low. Getting very close to stop reduction for tranche one.
Tranche 3 is a 90-95, so that one I could consider holding a little bit longer, closer to the bell. All right, just reduced my stop on tranche one. Nine fifteen forty eight seventy. Okay, it's all good. All right, I'm doing a three seven. All right, locked and loaded on calendars. Getting close to, let's see, six minutes away. I will definitely be closing tranche one as we near five minutes till. Then I'll make a, a game time decision on tranche three. Need a little pop, a little bounce. A little baby bounce. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yep, need a little bounce. Thought we were going to get it there. Nice work, Theta Junkie. Nice, Wooga. Here's our bounce. That's what I needed. All right, I'm going to close tranche one. All right, slow down. Let me get out of tranche one, then you can push. All right, close tranche one at 335. Tranche three, I'm going to let ride.
anywhere between 90 and 95. So I booked 56%, about 2,100 on tranche one. Lost about a little over 2,000 on tranche two. So just barely green between tranche one and two. And then tranche three, I need to stay between 90 and 95 to make it a green, green power hour. We're all good. Good, good. So for the quiet lunch and tranche two. NTT did good. My one DTE did good. AM did good. DKS did good. Tranche one did good. Tranche three just needs to stay above 90. Michael Todd coming in with his normal 4,000 plus day. How's that feel, Michael Todd? That's just becoming the norm for you. Nice job, Michael. And he had it, and he had his eggs right before power hour. So he's, I mean, doesn't get any better than that. Four thousand dollars a day times two hundred fifty-two trading days, Michael. That's seven figures. That's a seven figure year right there. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Are you doing anything other than the TLC trades or is that just TLCs? I think. <clears throat> Two minutes. Hold your head above 90, little buddy. Yep. Get up there. Get up there. Just push up. I'm going to take my remaining contracts to the bell here for my power hour one because it's pretty much centered. All right. Nice job. Hold your little head above water just for one more minute. Nobody needs to take any profits to end the day. Get back up there now. There we go. Freeze. A little under 30 seconds. Push up there, buddy. Push up. Just playing with our emotions. It. Just playing with our heartstrings. You can do it. Get up there, buddy. Get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. Up, up, up. Up, up, and away. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little mark up into up, the close. Up, up, and away. There we go. That's a pin. That's a pin good for 2067 bucks. All right, all good stuff. Green power hour. Uh, let's see. Next week is the 29th on Monday. So we'll be doing zero DTE live stream in the morning at the open and then back for power hour. Tuesday, Chad will be live in the morning. And then we'll be doing power hour. Wednesday, Chad will be live in the morning. No power hour, but we'll be streaming for FOMC. And then Thursday and Friday, chat will be in the morning. 
and power hour at the end of the day. All right, I'll take care. Have a good weekend. Cheers. See y'all.